you already know, I'm a, I'm a bad ass, pretty much. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a straight up G, okay? Today I'm gonna tell you my greatest achievement, okay? It trumps every other achievement in the entire universe. You got into Harvard, mine's better, all right? You went into space, mine's still better, all right? You win a Nobel Prize, I am still better, okay? My greatest achievement in the whole entire world. Oh my God, this thing is, oh, I created a, a masterpiece. You guys have no idea, okay? <clears throat> what I did will blow your entire universe, okay? This will blow your mind, okay? This, this is so crazy, all right? I'm gonna tell you what it is, all right? The secret is the craziest thing I have done, and I'm so proud of it, sort of, okay? I'm sort of proud of this, okay? My greatest achievement of all time, what I did was I plagiarized the World at War campaign. <clears throat> yeah, let's just get into this. All right, guys, it's your boy, Emloon Dine here, and today I'm just gonna be talking to you guys, giving you a little life story. I'm probably not what to do in your life. Um, okay, so basically what happened, yes, I did plagiarize the World at War storyline. And no, that's not a good idea. Don't ever plagiarize, okay? Learn from my lessons. This is not a great idea. This is probably not a good achievement at all, but hey, I got an A on a writing assignment because of it. It was the greatest thing I did in my life, okay? I, I was surprised. I was surprised with the grades I got, okay? So it was sophomore year, back, back in a troubling time in my life. Young, young prepubescent, little M, okay? Baby Matt, okay? Um, it was towards the end of the year and I was slacking off like usual. I think, I think I was already grounded because I've, I've gotten grounded every single year of high school, that's the thing. So, I was grounded and I need to get my grades up in social studies, all right? And me being the kind of guy I am, I of course procrastinated on this writing assignment. So we had a, what we had to do is our teacher was trying to get us to learn, get some golden nuggets of knowledge. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mr. W. Because he, to be honest, I really like this teacher, and I kind of, I pretty much like the class. Like I like social studies. I just wasn't that great at it because I didn't turn in work because I was slacking off. Yeah, turn, turn in your work. That, so basically, what we did is we had a assignment to write a about a war story that happened during world war ii the russian revolution basically yeah i picked the stalingrad campaign okay from world at war so i had never played world at war at this point all right i think i've only by that time i only had played through the modern warfare 3 campaign so my friends like all right like we're sitting down, it's like the day before it's due and we're like literally just messing around all class. And this kid like makes a joke like, I'm gonna use the, the Call of Duty campaign. I was like, bet. And he's like, nah, 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 I won't do it, all right? So we procrastinated all class. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go home, find a great story, pound this out, like just summarize the story. And yeah, okay. Me being the kind of person I am, I didn't even do it that night, okay? <laughs> so I came to school and it's my class is seventh hour so i was like oh my god oh my god like i didn't do my project i need to do it so i um i was like freaking out so what i did i went in at lunch because like back then i was still worried about like following the rules like i was like if i break a rule my mom's gonna kill me so basically i went in at lunch and i no one thought i was gonna do it so basically i took the Stalingrad, the Stalingrad campaign, the Russian part of the campaign for World at War. I summarized it, and I basically made it so it was truthful, all right? And I took that masterpiece that I created. I created a great story, all right? And it was supposed to be a real story. That's that's the thing. This is supposed to be a real World War II story, okay? Or from the Russian Revolution. There was, there was two things you could do. Russian Revolution, World War II, okay? I did World War II, the campaign, I, yes, the campaign for Russia during World War II. I believe they were still in World War II during that campaign, I'm pretty sure, okay? So yeah, 
we I picked the campaign and I made it I made it somewhat believable but like you knew it, it couldn't happen at all like this this story not real at all so I took the Call of Duty campaign summarized it turned it in man on this baby a hundred percent I got a hundred percent on this paper greatest grade ever like I was so surprised I was like I was so worried I was like he's gonna catch me he's gonna catch me for cheating he's like this is not I knew it wasn't believable at all and I know he read it because he was talking about some of the stories in class so I know he read through all of them so I was so worried and I got it back I got a freaking a best achievement of my life you have no idea okay so basically in the end don't cheat but sometimes if uh, you're plagiarizing it pays off but uh don't don't do it on turnitin.com because that has a plagiarism checker and you'll screw yourself yeah we just turned in a hard copy so i was solid on that in that department but yeah in the end that is the greatest achievement of my life you can tell my life is not that great because all i did was turn in a paper and get an a on it even though i should have just did my work like I was supposed to. So the moral of the story is, when in doubt for a war story, use the Call of Duty campaign. Actually, don't. That's a bad idea. I'll stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a like. If you leave a like, I'll give you a, a peel away coupon from Fries. Thank you. Uh, peace out. Uh, goodbye forever. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the camera on until it hits over 10 minutes because I need a second ad if we get any ads because you know all the people pulled pulled their ads from YouTube but if we can get ads on this video that would be great okay make sure to leave a like I'll give you a peel away coupon that it has expired by the way I can't give you a unused coupon that's not expired I can't afford that yeah uh, thank you again for watching bye.